hey, hey. Going live. Hey, everybody. I'm over here on Facebook, going live tonight. Energy focus for the week. Come on in and join me. Let me set it all off. I'm over here at Natural Forces Studio, the Empowered Spirit, and let me hit Instagram. Come on in and join me. So much going on in the world at large. Let's talk about it. What is up? What is up with your energy as well? What is going on, everybody? Come on in and join me for a few minutes. Let's see what's up. Let's align our energy. Hey, Stacy, how's everything in New York? What is going on? So much going on out in the world. Come on in and join me. Let's give it a minute for people to come in and join us. Hey, Lynn. How's everybody doing? Give me a thumbs up. It's been really a rough, rough week. Rough week. You know what I mean? Give me a rough, give me a rough week. Give me a thumbs up. Hey, Paul, thanks for joining me. There's a thumbs up right there. It really has. It's been a rough week for me. Crying at the medicine wheel today. Just tears pouring out. I know some of it's my stuff. A lot of it's the world. A lot of it is the uncertainty and the change and all of that energy that's coming forward. What is it for you? Come on in and join me. Let's talk about the cosmos. Let's pull in our energy together and we'll look to some cards for guidance as well. Come on in and join me. Hey, Mercedes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mercedes, did you listen to that podcast with Christy? It was really good. All right. I see a couple people coming in on Facebook, a couple people over here on Instagram as well. Come on in and join me. Let's give it one more minute. I'm streaming all the way through. Give me a thumbs up. All right. I think I've got it going. It looks like we are live on all the mediums. Yay. All right. So let's begin. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Terry and Hyman here. This is my live stream for the Empowered Spirit Show. This is where we come on. We talk about the energy, the cosmos. We align our energy. We look to the cards for guidance as well. So much going on. It was a rough week for me, a rough week for many people out there as well. What was it for you? Definitely a lot in the cosmos. Definitely a lot going all around the country. Just a lot of unrest, a lot of uneasiness, a lot of social injustice coming forward. All of this has just been shooken up. It really is. And we open up as we move into this new month tomorrow in June, we open up to the eclipse season. <laughs> the eclipse season just kind of shakes it up even more. It really does, bringing in a lot of unexpected energy. So we'll have that first one Friday when that full moon comes in. So we have a full moon eclipse. It's the strawberry moon. It's the moon where all of the berries start to come forward. The grandmothers are out there praying under the moon for all of us. And we'll just see all the strawberries, all the berries starting to come in. That's a beautiful part of this energy. Some of the other energy going on is a little more intense. It's a little more intense out there. It really is. Maybe you've been feeling it. There is a lot of uncertainty, and that's what's coming in right now as well. We have this full moon. We've got the sun sign in Gemini. We've got the moon sign moving into Sagittarius. And that's exactly where the nodes are. And that's where those eclipses are hitting us. So whenever we switch the nodes, which we've been talking about, we're at the beginning phases of this, we do find it a little bit more intense. So one of the things that I've been noticing that's coming up is that comfort zone. I know I've moved out of my comfort zone. It can be a little scary. It can be a little bit of uncertainty, like, oh no, what did I do? But that's where we have to return to that faith within ourselves, within our practice that, okay, step by step, I can do this. Because the tendency, we're humans. The tendency is to want to go back into that normal, go back into what we knew. But yet, if you've made changes, I have, I've made several, we start to doubt it. So the thing is, is that we have to, again, return over and over to that purpose, to that mission of what it is you're doing. And I know that's what's been helping me. And I've been asking the question, and this is some of that Sagittarius energy. What is for the higher good right now? What is your work about? What can you do right now that's going to help you open up to a bigger part of who you are? And I know when I return to my mission, when I return to that part of me, 
It helps me take a breath. It helps me to remember there is a greater good at work. Nothing is the same. There is no normal. There is no new normal. We have a whole new paradigm out there. And so the ability for us to come forward at this time with compassion, with love, with joy is possible. But there is a lot of work to do out there. So as we move into this eclipse season, the first one comes in on Friday, we're going to see a lot of this energy is even making us feel so much more uncertain too. But knowing you have the spiritual path, knowing that you can align with your energy is going to be really helpful. All right, so we have the Gemini energy. The Gemini is that air energy. It gives us the ability to have new thoughts. We have the Sagittarius energy as well. Sagittarius is that explorer. Sagittarius has a really great way of being very optimistic, asking you to open up, to really evolve. And that's what we're doing. As hard as it is, that's what we're doing, all right? I know in all the cities around, major cities, have been seeing a lot of unrest. Here in Birmingham, we had the, the march downtown, the rally they were calling it. Birmingham, everybody's watching us, seeing what we're doing. That civil energy, that civil rights energy goes so deep. And it aligns with all of us, all right? This is like through so many generations of energies. Like we see this social injustice coming forward. All races, all people, all sexes, all of this energy, it is being stirred up. It's hitting us all on many different levels. What can we do about it? And those are the questions that are being asked. Where can you stand up in your purpose? Get out of the comfort zone, open up to your purpose in life, and help create the change you wish to see. Where does it start? Within our own self. It really does. And I know sometimes I can pick up way too much energy of the whole world, and then it's like, whose is this? What's going on? So as impasse, we have to be careful about that. And so I know for me today, it's just like at the medicine wheel moving the rocks, cleaning up the energy, letting it just go. That's the best thing for me is just let it go and recognize each step you take right now is really important. And that's what this energy is about as well. As you move into this week, each step you take. So when you feel that uncomfortable energy, as you're trying to balance the energy of the sun and the moon, and then we've got all those planets that are in retrograde, we've got the shifting of the nose. As you're trying to balance it, it's really grounding with your energy coming back to the center of who you are, all right? As we work it with this Sagittarius energy, it's really asking you to open up your quest, open up your vision, go into it. We've got a little bit of Mars and Neptune. Mars is that fire, that warrior energy. We're seeing that come forward, right? But if we can let it that align with the Neptune energy, we can go into the visions of our dreams and our visions of our, our, our what we want to see come forward and let that fire of the Mars propel you out, move out of the comfort zone, let your visions open up, and then the work is step by step by step. Keeping your vibration high, watching your thoughts, keeping them uplifted is really, really important. And it can be easy to get caught in the fear. It can be easy to go back into the old ways of doing things, but it's not really going to help. It may feel like it, all right, I know I've been struggling with this a little bit these last few days, like, oh, why did I do what I did? Maybe I shouldn't have. That's not going to do me any good. That's just the chatter of the mind. So the important part is to drop the rest of the what, rest of that off. How do you do that? It's a little different for each one of us. Maybe you like to exercise. Maybe you like to do yoga. Maybe you like to meditate. Maybe you like to get outside and garden. Gardening has been very helpful for me. Whatever it is for you, burn that energy off so that you can come and sit back and then have that expansive energy open up. That's the Sagittarius and Gemini. They're very similar in many respects because they expand our horizon. They expand the consciousness of who we are. And right now, expanding your consciousness is really, really important. We just can't go back to the old way of thinking. We have to open up to new ideas, new visions, and new desires. And that's what these eclipse seasons will do. Eclipses are known to be kind of like the roller coaster of energy. They really can. They can shake things up. The unexpected can happen. So the important part, ground. Ground your energy. Be centered in who you are. Feel your feet on the earth. And then it's one step at a time. All right? Try not to get to that, like, I want to get there at the end, right? I know I can do that. Just want to get there. And then I get all overwhelmed. No. And this is something the medicine world teaches me. When I look at it, like, how did I do this? one rock at a time, one step along your path, and just keep your bigger vision, keep that mission in alignment for you, and that's going to really help you to do that. And that's that higher vibration of Sagittarius. That's that moon energy coming in for us to mix with the Gemini. 
So the higher vibration is that quest, that search. The lower vibration is getting really stuck and really limited in your thinking. And then the same with Gemini, that higher vibration is really expanding, air, really opening up. The lower vibration is indecision, can't make up on your mind, right? So we have both of those. And really what we want to do is we want to lift. We want to lift our vibration. We want to raise up to the higher vibration to help us really get out of this. I mean, we're still in this COVID. Can you believe it? We're still there. And people are coming out in the mask. To me, it's just the most bizarre thing ever. And it's actually making me a little bit angry. That's the Mars energy. All right, getting a little bit mad. <sighs> right? It makes me not want to get out. Today down in Birmingham, like, all right, they live streamed it. So I was able to at least participate in a different way instead of getting down there in the heat and the mask and feeling all that tension building. So we can be available. And that's some of that Gemini energy to the way in which we do virtually get out there the way in which we perceive information as well and that's also really important that perception what is truth what is not there's so much going on out there right now really tuning in to how the energy is affecting you is it in your mind or can you feel those gut instincts that's how we make those decisions and that's how we can tell what is best for each and every one of us Hey, T, you said hello, and my, my phone fell over. How funny. Hey, Tina, how are you? Tina from The Intuitive Woman joining us right now. How funny. It just fell right over. All right, there you go. Let me make sure we can hear. So, yes, there is a lot of unrest going on. We're going to feel that eclipse energy coming forward as that full moon comes in. So noticing those questions that you can ask your own self, all right? What is it you're searching for? How can you build this energy one step at a time? How can you get out of your comfort zone? Trust. That's the big thing for me. Trust each step. All right? It's okay to be out of the comfort zone. It really is. It's okay. It doesn't feel good. Right? I was talking to one of my friends. She's like, can you just sit with being in that discomfort? I'm like, okay, I can. It doesn't feel good. It makes me a little nervous. It makes me a little anxious. But then I come back to my why, and I ask this all the time. What is it I need to be doing? How can I serve in a higher capacity? What is important right now? And so we keep asking ourselves over and over and over these kind of questions. And notice what comes forward. All right, what are the best scenarios that you can unfold at this time? What is the best possible path for you right now? And what does that mean? Do you have to make a change? Do you have to... You know, do your business a little different. You have to change the way in which your business is focused, your work, your job, however you want to see it. All right. These are the things that are really important right now as we come forward. This is what the node energy is all about. Get out of that, that familiar energy and open up to a bigger purpose. Take a chance. All right. We need to. We need to go through it. All right. So right now, some of the COVID energy is kind of leveling off, and yet we have a lot of the distress. The economics, the money, the business, the new way of working. So we're still seeing many, many effects. So where is it for you? What is the busy, biggest, what is your biggest difficulty right now? Let me know. Post below. What is the biggest thing for you right now? Is it your work? Is it not getting out? Is it wondering how we're going to move through? Is it the market? What is it for you that you're finding the greatest discord? And how can you shift that energy? What is it that you can do? Let me know. Post below. And let's see if we can figure some of this out. All right? Because when we can let go of the fear, and that's what our meditation is going to be today. We'll bring in a little bit of the Kashuk guides to help us, like, really just let go of the fear so that we can open up to the bigger path of what it is that we're trying to do, especially as we move through this week. So Monday and Tuesday... We've got a little bit of the end of that Virgo moon, then we move into the Scorpio moon. Scorpio is a little bit of that sting, it's a little bit of the fire, until we move into that full moon on Friday. So careful with your work, careful with your words, careful what you're doing, stay grounded, stay focused, so that you can make these changes, all right? Hey, Kate, Kate says job change, moving next month, oh my goodness, where are you going, Kate? That's a good change. So don't let yourself get overwhelmed with all that new energy coming forward. Are you going to Colorado? Where are you going, Kate? Let me know. I miss seeing you. I really do. I do miss people. I do. I can get into my own world, and it's just very strange right now. So how are you adjusting, right? 
So right now, the biggest thing I can offer is find compassion for your brothers and your sisters, for each and every one. We all have different circumstances. Don't judge. Suspend that judgment around all the circumstances right now and find a way to bring peace into your heart. Peace for you, first and foremost, and then let that elevated emotion, one of the highest vibrations out there, let it raise up and let it just radiate out into your auric field. All right? Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. All right, Kate says she's just moving apartments. All right, not moving out of state. All right, so let's just take a moment. Hey, Buffy, thanks for joining us. Let's take a moment and pull all this energy in so that we can feel centered. Let's call in the Akashic Guides to help us release the fear. I know I've been feeling some of that myself, the fear of the uncertainty. So let's let that release out wherever you can, if you can, for a moment. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Taking a moment, pulling in your energy, feeling your breath as you inhale up the body and exhale back down. Pulling your energy in, feeling the spiritual body aligning right on top of the physical body. Calling in your higher self. Just feel that alignment right on top. Pulling in your energy, letting go of the day, letting go of the week. Hard week, I know. Hard week for me as well. And so we let it go. We find ourselves very present, as we say with Reiki, just for today. So let us take a moment and call in guidance and protection. We find ourselves at the very last quadrant, the very last part of our spring energy. In the medicine wheel, we find ourselves right there in the edge of the east, getting ready to move into the direction of the south for summer. Calling in for guidance and protection to the east, the south, the west and the north, above us, below us. Call into your very center. Feeling that energy for you, feeling your spirit coming in. And setting an intention for you this week as we open up to this eclipse season, to this full moon as it grows each and every day. And just feel that intention right into that third eye. Peace, prosperity, love, joy, whatever it is for you. And let those elevated emotions just radiate, sending it out into the universe. As we call in our healing guides. And just let the guides come in. And start to move through the orc fields as we call in the collective energy for all of us. And let the guides soothe your energy right now. Releasing the fear, the doubt, the judgment, the worry. Let it go. So that you can return to the faith and the trust that you are divinely guided each and every moment. Feel that connection with your own spirit. The connection with the universe and with the guides that are around us right now, calling them in. Take a deep inhale, and exhale, sending energy out as the guides do the work, working with the Lemurian crystals, using the Reiki, Han Chen Se Shen In, Han Chen Se Shen In, the, mar the mantra for sealing out healing energy to each and every one right now. Reiki connects us all to this universal grid. The guides are with us right now, too. So let us open up to the higher vibrations to clear the fear, the uncertainties. Be strong in your spirit. Trust that inner guidance. It's there. Everything you need is within you. Let that come forward instead. Take a nice deep inhale, bringing that breath all the way up, reaching into the higher realms. And as you exhale, bring that divine inspiration down, but fill up the auric field, sending energy out, just sitting in the energy. Imagine this beautiful golden ray of light coming in to surround you in this very moment. Let it surround you. Let it be sent through the auric field as you go on your path this week. As the light of the moon increases each and every day, feel this beautiful golden light coming forward for you. 
Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Starting to feel the energy. Connecting you. Grounding you. Feeling that sense of strength coming forward. Sealing in this energy. Shukurei, shukurei, shukurei. And just feel those elevated emotions radiating out. Taking a nice deep inhale. And exhale. Feel the feet on the earth. Feel the strength of your spirit coming forward. Bring in the awareness back. One more nice deep inhale and exhale. Bringing the awareness back, coming back. So you open up to look at the cards for this week. So it's a kind of an interesting collection of cards. The first one that comes up is one of my favorite actually, which is the Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups is all about like the abundance and joy, and it's that connection. This is how I like to see this for where we are right now. We are all connected. We are all connected. So as you raise that vibration, know that we're connecting to this greater good, this higher purpose. This is also a gratitude card. So don't forget the gratitude in your life. Thank, cat, thank you, Cat Monster. Don't forget the gratitude in your life. Very important. This is the way to keep your emotions elevated. I know sometimes, I know, I know I can get there myself, forget about all the beautiful things going on and worry about that one little detail. Gratitude. When we find the gratitude, we lift our vibration and we can stay in that elevated emotion and that is exactly how we attract. In fact, I'm interviewing this week on the podcast, I'm interviewing... How Thoughts Become Things. It's the next movie coming out. I can't wait to interview. That'll be in a couple of weeks. But this is how we keep that emotions high. All right. How do we do this? And how do we make certain that we stay in that energy? So the first card that comes up, if you chose card number one, is the Two of Swords. This is a little bit of that indecision. All right. Look how they're crossing. But the thing that really resonates is look at this. This is an eclipse. This is that energy. So as we move through this eclipse season, as we open up to this, this is where that vision that we were talking about. This is where you want to have that clearer vision. So as you keep your energy high, as you keep this gratitude, you will find the decisions you need. You will be able to trust. All right, you guys know me. Trust your gut. All right, use your intuition. You will be able to make those decisions for you. Don't get caught in the chatter. Open up to the unknown. This is always like how it shines, that unknown. Open up to the unknown. Yes, it is uncomfortable, but that's okay. One step at a time. All right, if you chose card number two, four of swords. All right, so this is about finding some balance. Yes, it is swords. Swords is our mental plane. Don't get caught in the chatter, but this is also finding balance. Look how they're like evenly spaced. All right, look at the lamb. Look at that third eye center. So this is about finding the time to really ground your energy, ground those thoughts, all right, go into the Gemini energy. Expand your horizons. Go into that Sagittarius energy. Go on that quest. We can all go on a quest. So take some time for you this week, all right, especially as that moon increases. Really important. And then the third card, this is the eight of swords. All swords, right? All in the mental chatter. And it's so easy right now to get caught in that. I know I do myself. That's why I meditate, all right? This is really important, too, because you don't want to fall down. You really want to know what that transformation is for you. Look at that cocoon. All right? Know your energy. It's okay if you're different from others. I do. I know I do. But being strong in my spirit can help me so that I can open up and have that ability to move forward on my own path and be strong. Don't be victim. Don't be victim to it. All right? It's easy to get into, and we can. We can vacillate up and down. But finding the abundance, that higher elevation of emotion can make you stronger in who you are and not caught in that victim energy, all right? And that's what's really important, especially as we move through. As that moon opens up this week, no matter where you are, you can see that full moon. So we are all connected, right? We went out to space. Let's see what that's going to do. We are all connected. We have to have compassion for each other. 
look out for each other, speak up, join in, help out, get out of that indecision, make some choices, even if it's the unknown, all right? The eclipse is going to help you to do that. Take some time to balance your energy this week. Take some time out. Meditate, meditate, meditate. And then know yourself. Don't get caught in the victim energy. Know what you stand for so that you can open up to that transformation in your own life. All right? Really, really important. All right. Let me know how that resonates for you. I'll be happy to draw some cards. I did not do a podcast this week. All right? I took some time off from me. I'm taking some time upgrading my energy as well. Moving into that uncertain energy, I will say, I'll plant the seed right now, I'm going to be doing a summer, opening up on the summer solstice, a summer intuition boot camp, five-day boot camp, super excited, you'll be hearing a lot about it, know that it'll be five days live, free, in the Empowered Spirit Circle, so get in the circle, I'm so excited to be offering this, yes, you'll hear more about it, it will open up on the summer solstice, all right? Check out Christy Whitman's podcast we did together. Her work is amazing. Laws of Attraction. Go back and listen if you didn't get a chance to. And I will be back with podcasts. Got some great things coming up. Just taking a little break to regroup and open up to some really fantastic energy moving forward for me. And yes, it is uncomfortable, but that's okay. I am going to do it. All right. Let's see what's going on. All right. Looking to possibly move out of state. All right. Hip scientist, Kate. Manifest. Put it out there for what it is. Be clear. All right, cat. People relaxing about COVID. I know. It's really strange. Like, I forget it's out there, but yes, we have to figure that out. All right. Thank you. All right. Marissa takes a card. Let me know over here on Facebook as well. All right. So, Marissa, this is the daughter of Pentacles. Being here, my daughter, I love it. But this is a daughter of Pentacles. So, this is about some of that innocence. Now, Pentacles is our earth. It's our money. It's our work. And so it always is kind of like have the intuition, open up to like some of that innocence of how to go about things. Sometimes we can be, get caught in how we're doing it, but this can help you to move forward in your situation right now is to like really open up and have the innocence. Look at the rainbow. So yes, use that intuition. Eight years ago, I know you opened up and took a huge chance that has guided you and you know what that means when you're guided. You do know you trust your gut and I love it so much. So have some innocence, trust your gut, things are going to work out, there's a rainbow out there for you. All right, hey T, card for Tina. All right, Tina, you got the mother of wands. All right, so this wands is passions and desires. Mother is kind of that nurturing, so this is all about nurturing that passion that you have, that, that ability to move forward and make that transformation. All right, really it's about your ideas, like really nurturing those. See how protective that looks? So that's okay. You might have some energy to protect as you move forward, but know that your passions and desires is all about transformation. Look at the red and the yellow, fire energy moving forward, passions coming up, birthing new ideas as well. You can look at it that way. Nurture them, all right? Really good. All right. Hey, Stace. All right. Attitude. Attitude, how have you been? All right, we've got all these people cards. You have the Daughter of Cups. So attitude, this is all about your emotions, all right? And like looking at that reflection, look at that, how beautiful it is. It's a swan. So trusting that, that's a really great card to look and open up and have some innocence. Daughters are always about the innocence, the feminine energy. But it's also to the psychic energy, the intuitive energy, trusting that. That's what this card comes up for you as well, all right? Definitely. Last week, you got that last week too? Maybe when we did our Reiki session together. I don't know. Maybe so, T. I don't remember. All right. Anyway, let me know if I missed you. Post in again. Stace, you want a card? This one's for you. Stace, we got the Five of Cups. All right. This is about change coming forward and the emotional energy. Sometimes we can have our heads down. This reminds you to look your head up and open up to the bigger picture. Open up the heart, which I know you do. Things are shifting and changing horsepower. Horsepower in your emotions, all right? Definitely. All right, attitude. All right. Yay. Who else? Oh, anybody over here? Rachel. Here we go. Kate. Kate, temperance. All right, so this is about balancing the elements, all right? This is about balancing the fire and the water, all right? We're going through lots of shifts and changes, so balancing that elements for you. All right, fire is passions, water is emotions. 
Don't let one or the other get too much. Then we create drama, right? So staying in that balancing energy, there is some healing. So as you go to move, offer the healing for where you were and to where you're going. Really important that you do both and balance that energy for you as well. You're welcome, T. All right, Cat Monster, this card is for you. So this is the Two of Wands. This is that nice, strong determination, making a decision and moving forward. It's also passion and desires. Look at the alignment and then look at that path. I always like to say, Om, one-pointed focus, all right? That's an attitude I have. It's such an attitude. Om, one-pointed focus. Really great card. Actually, this is my card for the week. Actually, I've already said my focus. Actually, on my Reiki Mastery training, I did not cancel it. I just refused to cancel it. We had to move locations. We're keeping it local. Too important to work. Too important to bring more Reiki Masters out into the world to do this work. So, yes, as I prepare for it this week, Om, and this is a card for you as well, Cat Monster, one-pointed focus. Be strong in your focus. And that's kind of what, you know, these cards we drew with the other ones too, just really being strong, not letting the mind get too much of you as well. All right, who did I miss? Anybody, let me know. So, yes, be on the lookout. You will be seeing lots of information coming out about my Intuition Boot Camp. It's going to be live, free, for five days straight in the Empowered Circle. One hour a day, not all day. So excited about the Intuition Boot Camp. It'll be a lot of fun. We're going to learn a lot, and you're invited. All right, anybody else that I missed? So the importance this week is to honor where you are right now on your path. Get out of the unknown. I mean, get out of the certain, the comfort zone. Move into the unknown, and it's okay to feel uncomfortable. It's okay. It's okay to have emotions. I cried my eyes out today at the medicine wheel. It wasn't all my energy. A lot of it was, but not all of it, and that's okay. If you're empathic, the full moon always gets us. Know what to release. Know how to dig your feet in, know how to ground, come back to center. I still feel a little heaviness, a little bit. I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. I got some of the sun, as you can see, the sun and the water, all the elements today. I am feeling a little better, but I still feel a little heavy with the excess emotions. That's the full moon. All right, when we know it, we can work with it better. All right, all right, Cat Monster, love it. Perfect, spot on. All right, anybody else? Did I miss anyone? All right, guys, so take a nice deep inhale as we go to close. Exhale away. Let your intentions guide you this week. Honor the moon, honor the sun, honor all the planets as you open up to the cosmic forces in your life one step at a time. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. Thank you so much for joining me. Love you guys for showing up to your spirit. Namaste.